fascinated by all the layers that create landscapes. I think a lot about color, texture, sound, and how all these elements compile to create places and affect the way that we experience them. I use acrylic ink washes and graphite to build up really fluid, organic layers on wood panel. And when the painting is complete, I wrap strands of thread that are informed by the layers beneath it. So there's a 3D fiber element on top of the painting. And I really love the contrast of the measured controlled line that can exist in harmony with these very fluid layers of mark making. My work is inspired by moments I've collected from time spent outdoors. And it's also become an important reminder for me that there's always beauty and peace to be found amongst what we can't control. Life is bound to bring uncertainties and chaos, but there's always opportunities to connect back to what brings us peace. I think creating and sharing artwork is a really powerful tool for doing so and really allows us to connect to each other. My process starts with me doing sketches in a book that I carry around with me almost all the time, which is my journal and sketches. In a given day, I'll do 12 to 15 little sketches, and I'll write in my journal what was going on for me that day or the day before, or whatever comes up about uh, kind of the meaning of life and how I want to conduct myself in that, in this life. Um, and then I go back over uh, the sketches at a later date and I start to choose those uh, that might work for a given series that I'm working on. I think that the emotional content of my work is mostly contained in my colors because colors are very expressive. Um, the forms obviously set up the color, uh, but to me, that's the emotional part that I'm expressing. I've had a mentor in my life who is a philosopher, and he's now in his late 80s, and I started with him almost 40 years ago. And from him I learned about caring for myself and caring for others. And I read a lot of philosophy books and thoughts from other philosophers. And I look at it as a buffet of different ideas about how we can live our life. And you pick and choose from that buffet from different philosophers um, how you want to conduct your life. And it's organic, it's always changing, we're getting older, we're having different experiences in life, and we need to keep uh, changing. Painting is an extension of that for me. I studied art at the University of Florida, and in my senior year, I took an experimental painting course that challenged us to create a painting without using any paint. Um, my mom is a talented seamstress, and as I was growing up, she was always making me Halloween costumes or dresses for school dances or working on a variety of projects. So I had her send me a box of thread, and I created a line painting entirely out of thread, just wrapping it around canvas board. It was all just structured lines, and I loved that geometric quality, but I slid a painting scrap underneath it just to see what it would look like, and I immediately loved that contrast. So that's how I started working with both media. For this project, I wanted to create something that went back to my initial use of thread, but was also a nod to Jeffrey's work. One thing I love about Jeffrey's process is he always incorporates the raw wood of the panel into his paintings as a token towards his appreciation for nature. So these little pieces are thread on wood panel and they incorporate both the organic nature of the wood and the geometric line work of the thread. And my 
my mentor, who I talk to every once in a while now, he, he said, you know, I really think that your artwork and artwork of others is a gift to society. And I, uh, it really shot through me. I mean, it was a wonderful thing for me to hear from him uh, that he considered it that and to put it into those words and to express it to me. But it's very true. I do think that uh, artists, um, when they create art, they are giving a gift to society. And I certainly know that I've been touched by many artists' work myself, emotionally. Um, and that's the main part that I want to get to in my work, is, is touching people emotionally. Um, I'm not interested in a flash or make, making things look uh, only pretty, but I wanted to have give a, a feeling through my selection of colors in my art that this life is precious and um, we can be appreciative of the life that we do have um, and look at the beauty 